What is up? Back at it again. MHF Madhouse Fishing. In case you're new to the video and don't know what that stands for, that's what it means. I'm Chris Sullivan and I am here to take y'all on another mission. So the mission is going to be something I've never done before. I know a lot of people do. I never have. So y'all can follow me on that journey of that. Here we go. So, the journey is going to be kayak fishing. Yep, kayak fishing. You're probably like, oh, that's just another kayaking video. I like watching kayak videos. Much respect to the guys that do extreme kayak fishing, sharks, stuff like that. I've never fished on a kayak. So, that's the fun part. MHF has never fished on a kayak. So, on that note, due to... Tied for time, just having the baby from the behind scenes video I hope y'all watched. I am now going kayak fishing on Sunday. So, I had to hustle up the ultimate rig and make it madhouse style in order to hit this water. Let me take y'all to tour the boat. It is the Bounty 100 Angler. Now, don't forget the part I said tied for money. So... For you high-end kayakers, I know y'all are probably like, well, why did he buy that one? That's why, because I'm broke. So, let me run you down a couple of things I had to do to it. You just seen the pictures of it stock. Had to madhouse it out. First of all, started with the MHF logo. Just a little spray can. Put it on there. Um, have that on both sides. Bam. MHF paddle uh, I bought a single paddle don't know what paddle to buy I don't kayak I got a boat don't really kayak but I'm going to switch that for a double paddle I believe got my bag strapped down in the back as always now to the madhouse creative style of things give you a little rundown on my dashboard I have the radio yes I have a radio Cause it's madhouse, baby. We listen to the radio. Got my video set up. Little orange on there. See, now y'all see the cables running, right? So this is already set up with cables. You should see them running around. Then I tucked them down, right? So it's gonna be pre-charged station, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I uh, mounted my little bag up front, mounted them down with some screws on each strap. So now I got my fish scale, my cutters, lens, stuff like that right there. Um, inside is my USB ports for my portable charging station. So I'll be able to charge my phone, I'll be able to charge my radio, I'll be able to charge my other phone that's going to be sitting here that I'll use for navigation. Haven't got that mount yet. Oh, yes, and I have a fan. Yes, he does. Because it's hot. We're in Texas. It's hot. I'm trying to get some kind of some kind of breeze. Nice little fan. But however, when winter hits here, it's not pointless. Because it has a light on it. So I will be using that and also to do baits. Tie my baits, do whatever if I do a little night fishing. So, not completely worthless for... Summertime or winter time. Now, ultimate rig. Now, I've seen people do this. this. Is where I kind of got the idea. I just routed it a little different. We have the diving reel. The diving reel. I think that's a 65 pound test rope, which is probably a little thin. But I was tied for time. Like I said, we're leaving out this Sunday. Had to get something. So there it is up close. So basically this folds out, it's a little handle to reel in the slack, somewhere to keep your extra slack. Basically, once you pull this pin, okay, and the rope goes down the back, there goes the jack. <laughs> Sorry, jack. 
There goes the anchor into the water, baby, through the back. Still got to put the little hooks that kind of hold this out. Now, this is all my creation done within a little bit of time I've had at night in between the new babies. So, that's my madhouse rig right there, boys. Let's uh, give it a shot now. Let's hope I don't flip and ruin some of my stuff I got going on here. But, thanks to Amazon, I guess it's all replaceable. Now, for the charging station. This is my most important part that I really don't want to get wet. But... I'm going out on the first trip, I won't technically need it. So you obviously see that wire running into this bad boy. So now I have my charging port, right? So basically, I'm gonna mount this eventually once I know I uh, won't flip, <laughs> but I'll mount it. Give me just a second. It plugs in the back like so. It'll be mounted up there. While I'm out night fishing, I also have... Let me turn it on. A light in the front. So I'll have a light while I'm charging. My radio, my phone. You see the little boxes lit up right there, blue? And then I ain't got it plugged in right now, but I got the plug that goes to the fan. Plug that goes to the fan. So, full power. When this thing's fully charged, it'll charge all that, plus this will run for a good six or seven hours on a light. Constant. After charging multiple devices. So that's where we're at. I'm digging it. Hope for the best, and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, so there you have it. Hope you liked the video. Uh, this is just a video strictly about uh, the mods done to the kayak. I will bring y'all the video of the first trip out, which is coming this Sunday morning on the kayak. And let's hope we don't uh, hit the water upside down in the water because then uh, that's going to suck. So. I got a kayak, my brother's got a kayak, my buddy Carlos has got a kayak, um, my nephew I believe it has a kayak, so we're all headed out basically, hopefully on our first uh, kayak uh, fishing trip. So just a little short video, just wanted to hit this out to y'all, but uh, we'll see y'all on Sunday on the water. As always, teach a man to fish or kayak. You'll feed that man for life. Thanks for watching.